So it's kind of ruined, but I wear it anyways. And people do notice it. I just brush it off. I mean, only one person has said anything. Lesson is don't use those cheap tote bags that are made of burlap that people give to you unless you're using, you're wearing denim or something. Uh, what I am working on right now is right here. And that is, and that is Vogue 9348. I am making this version here, version A that doesn't have the overlap and it doesn't have the asymmetrical hem. The fabric that I'm using is from Fabric Mart. It's uh, crepe blouse weight woven. Just notice this is the same, basically almost the same color as what I'm wearing. I guess I like these colors. My husband said to me, I think you have already made something in that fabric, haven't you? Mm -hmm. No, I haven't, but I tend to like dark florals, at least at this time of year. So I'm part way through that and uh, looking forward to that hopefully being done before the weekend. I've taken a lot of time in the last few weeks and thought about what I want to make and what I want to wear, trying to better envision myself in patterns and in fabrics that I like. So I've only bought a couple of patterns, but I think that they will be used a lot. The first one is this Vogue. Then the second pattern I bought is also, I bought three Vogue patterns. The second one is this Tracy Reese pattern, Vogue 1596. And this has pin tucks on it. I've got at least two ready to wear tops that I've worn a great deal that have pin tucks in them like this, you know, stretchy Jersey kind of tops. Um, I like them because they give a little bit of definition and a little bit of shaping, but then they kind of swoosh out and hide a multitude of sins. So I'm going to try making this and the fabric that I have for this, as it turns out, I have five pieces of fabric that I think would be so appropriate for this pattern. So I'm hoping it works. The first is this gray jersey from Fabric Mart. This is not opaque. I can see you. I don't know if you can see me. This was um, $5 a yard. So I've got this one to try. Then I have, a, most of these are Fabric Mart. This one is a and they call it off white. I'd say it's cream jersey. And this one is quite a bit heavier. This one was $7.99 a yard. Um, this one is opaque. Just kind of a pretty color or lack thereof. Then I have this bamboo knit that I picked up at Ray Stitch that was certainly more expensive than any Fabric Mart fabric. It is also not opaque. Um, it's really drapey. It's very nice. I like these bamboo knits. Um, the interesting thing about the bamboo knits is, I don't know if you can see this, these holes on the side, those are actually from the manufacturing process. So they warn you about this when you buy the fabric and I'm glad they did or I would have totally freaked out. They are all along the salvage. So this is a teal bamboo knit. Then I have this sand washed modal knit. This is also Fabric Mart. I really like modal knits. I always have. There's something about them. Modal is another form of um, a viscose. They just feel nice and they hang nice and totally opaque. Well, maybe not totally. I can see the light through it, but it's pretty darned opaque. So that's a kind of a dusty denim blue. So I've got four solids for that. And then I have this jersey that I picked up last summer and I thought it would be nice for it. And I will probably make this after I've made at least one of the solids, just because it's got the linear design and I'm going to have to think I'm pretty good at pin tucks or it'll be so noticeable. So I have five patterns for this and it's going to kind of become like 
you know, a Kohl's top where you buy 15 in the same color because they were all so cheap. I mean, may have to find another pattern. But this is clearly something I'll wear and something I look forward to wearing and I can easily find the fabric that's right for it. The next thing that I plan to make is, and I don't have, I've not purchased the pattern yet. This is something I bought at Fabric Mart this month. This is a double knit and it looks like it's quilted, kind of a denim. The inside is white. And I wanna make a little knit denim jacket out of this. I found a Berta pattern I'm gonna stick up here. I wanna make a little um, knit jacket that I think would be nice for summer. Something that's good for traveling because I now have some travels planned for the summer. And um, just, you know, denim kinda of goes with everything. I do not like denim jackets. I wore too many of them in the 70s and 80s. But this looks like denim, it'll be much more my old lady middle age style. So um, that's what I'm planning to make. I'm all backwards this time around. I'm going to show you what I did make. I have been sewing a fair bit, but I did take a vow at the beginning of February and I decided to start the 30 minutes a day. I popped in on the group on pattern review and I decided to vow to sew 30 minutes on three weekdays and then whatever time I do on weekends. And it's actually turned out pretty well because I've been able to focus in small bursts, get things done and then move on and do something else. Instead of getting wrapped up and feeling like I need to finish something every time I start it. Um, and that's been a really bad pattern that I've had ever since I started sewing as an adult. Um, so I'll come in and I'll, you know, cut something out. Maybe it'll take 30 minutes. Last night I applied interfacing. I did a couple of seams and then I left that top. So I've enjoyed that. And it, the thing that has been most surprising to me is how it's opened up time for me to do other things. So for example, I can actually eat a dinner, um, instead of just kind of starting to sew and then running downstairs and having toast. Um, but it's also, I've started playing the piano again after many, many years away. So I'm able to practice piano for 30 minutes. I can sew for 30 or 45 minutes. I can do a little bit of housework. I can watch some TV. I can do stuff on the internet, talk on the phone, whatever. So it's been kind of freeing that way and I'm enjoying that. So I'm hoping that that helps me to better accomplish what I want going forward. I don't know how I wound up there. I was going to show you what I made. Um, but before I show you what I made, I bought three patterns from Vogue and uh, I ordered them online and I got one order and like three days later I got a second order. So I called Vogue and I talked to the peep, the very nice fella at Vogue McButterQuicksim, whatever they're called now. Told them that I had this uh, situation arise where I got two full sets of my order and he said, thank you so much, keep them. So what I'm going to do, I've got three patterns that I received two copies of, so I'm going to give them away over the next several weeks. So this week I'm going to give away a copy of Vogue 1568. This is a Sandra Betsina tunic, loose fitting pullover top, has neckline variations. Version A has contrast shoulder inset, sleeve band and flounces. The, all sizes are in this pattern. So it's sizes A through J, Sandra Zeman sizes. So that's bust size 32 through 55. If you would like this pattern, I would be happy to mail it to you. Um, if only one person wants it, I will send it to that one person. If more than one person wants it, I'll do a little random drawing using a randomizing app on my phone. Uh, but if you would like this pattern, please just say I would like it um, in the comments and uh, I'd love to share the love that uh, Nicole's shared with me by 
letting me keep the second copies of these three patterns. So if you want this, comment by March 10th, 2019. So I'm just going to show you what I made. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is Quick Sew 3658. This is one of those um, open V collars. And I actually made this the first time when I started sewing again, and I made it out of a really pretty mauve fabric. Never wore it, threw it away, threw away the pattern. Then I found I saw the pattern again last year, and I thought, I really like that. Why did I get rid of that? So I bought the pattern again. Made it up in a panne in December. Remembered why I didn't like it the first time around. Panne, which is one of the recommended fabrics, it says a self-facing. It catches on your undergarments, so it pulls constantly. You can't wear it for like four minutes without having to adjust it. So uh, very unhappy with it. Decided to make another version, A a size smaller, and B in a double brushed poly. And this is what I came up with, and I love it. I wear this all the time. Such a happy make for me. Really like the fabric. It's lightweight but it's warm, so when it's a chilly day, it's so comfortable. So I highly recommend Quick Sew 3658, but do not use Panne or Stretch Velvet. The only way I can see to get around that is if you put elastic on the bottom of the self-facing so it catches underneath your bra. The next thing that I made is two toaster sweaters. Soho 7 toaster sweaters, the version with the polo neck. I made the first version out of a double knit from, where else? Fabric Mart. It's a black speckled double knit. Went together really quickly. Uh, the fabric is fine. It's not super warm. If I lived somewhere colder, then I would not necessarily make it out of this fabric but it went together so fast so last weekend when i just felt like i had to make something and it was cold here sorry excuse me allergies i pulled up a piece of double-sided what they called ponty at joanne it's not ponty i don't know what it is pulled up a, this piece of double-sided fabric and made up another version and that's this gray one here um the pattern is sewn completely on serger and cover stitch. If you don't have a cover stitch, you can just either use your regular machine to top stitch, or you can just say to heck with it, I'm not going to top stitch. It's the only reason you use the cover stitch is just top stitch the seams. Great pattern. Truly, I didn't have to alter anything. I just cut it and wore it. Um, I'd read some comments online where people said they thought it was a bit short and they may have been talking about the version 2, but version 1 is just the right length. So comfortable, so fast. If you're going skiing, make this. Next up, I made Simplicity 8848. Uh, this version with the tie, sleeveless, v-neck, and asymmetrical hem. This appealed to me because I've had tops like this before and I wore them. The V is not too deep and it's got the tie, so that gives the hint of a waistline for people like me who have no waistline. Of course, if I ever lose a bunch of weight, I could just cinch it in. Um, but I decided to take my time and make this right. So I made a twall. And the first time around, I cut it based on my shoulder width, which is 14 to 16. And I did a pivot and slide. Made up the toile, I was happy with it. Especially because it's got a tie, you know, that gives you a little bit of leeway there. But I wasn't thrilled with it. And I thought, if I spent the time making the toile, let's make it right. So I added a dart and that made a huge difference. It hangs much better now. So I made up a version in a poly shirting that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, I bought this fabric for the wearable toile because I like the stripes. It looks like spring and it's poly, so it doesn't crease, which is such a huge bonus. 
The only thing I have left to do on this is shorten the ties because they are really long. I may leave them the way they are because you know, you can never, like I'm not gonna unpick everything and shorten them the way I should. So I'd wind up kind of, you know, folding things under and top stitching. It just wouldn't look right. But that's the only thing I would say about this pattern is the ties are really, really long. But I'm happy with it. And I'm actually eyeing a piece of Liberty to make another version of it. So that's what I've been up to. Um, I'm going to Canada next week and I'm going to make a video of Fabric Land because it's always fun to see what fabric stores look like in other countries. I may stop into a, a tiny boutique fabric store that I usually shop at, but I don't know if she'll let me take a video out there. But I will do a video of Fabricland. Um, but that's about what's going on. If you want this pattern, please be sure to comment. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Just follow along on my little sewing journey. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great week and I hope spring is coming wherever you are.